and UC Davis is working around the clock to develop new treatments to treat coronavirus patients. They just launched within the last week or so two cl clinical studies that patients will be able to participate in who are at severe cases. And this is all stemming from that first community spread case with that person in Solano County who made national headlines. In the matter of eight days, UC Davis School of Medicine was able to launch two clinical trials to treat hospitalized patients with severe coronavirus cases. We couldn't have done this if we didn't have the test. So you can't be put in a trial unless you know you're positive. Because our lab was able to develop this test over a two-week period, then we are able to test patients and turn around very quickly and then be able to enroll them in one of these really important trials. These trials stem from the first known community spread case of coronavirus, a Solano County woman who was treated at UC Davis Medical Center and is now home resting. They were quickly able to get one drug included in these trials approved for this patient. That one is remdesivir, an antiviral drug used to treat Ebola in SARS patients. There are three patients in this trial at UC Davis Health. UC Davis is one of 75 sites in the world using this in trial. The other drug is used to treat rheumatoid arthritis patients, specifically targeting inflammation, often seen with coronavirus. One patient is in this trial. UC Davis is one of 50 sites in the world using this in trial. Both are for patients with lung problems connected to the virus. And this wouldn't have been possible without those coronavirus test kits we hear about so much every day. Everybody worked really 24-7 to get these trials up and running. Both were up and running in a week's time, which for uh, clinical research um, is really unheard of. So we're in an unprecedented time. They used to be able to test 20 patients a day. Now they're up to 200. They're hoping to expand the trial to help coronavirus patients with serious symptoms.